This is the first SOLIDWORKS CAD tutorial for the pen project. For this project, there's going to be nine different parts in the kit, and there's going to be two custom parts that you're going to design to fit along with the rest of the pen. Most of these parts in this project are going to end up being Revolve features. So it's going to be a different way of designing for us. Okay, you're going to be taking measurements off of some of the physical pieces in, in diameter, and then you're going to be cutting those in half to use radial dimensions so that you can draw them to make the revolves. All right, again, I'm telling you this now because it's easy to get, get in the weeds with these dimensions if you're not paying close attention. Um, when I can, I will provide you a working drawing like this with dimensions that you can work off of, but there are some times when you're going to have to use your own dimensions. All right. In this case, this should be provided for you in Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and get started with the first of the nine, and it's going to be the pen tip. So we're going to go to file, file new, and we're going to create a part file. Um, all of our work is going to be done on the front plane for these. That'll make it easier to assemble them when we get into the assembly drawing. So I'm going to start a new sketch. And because this is lathe work, um, it's customary that most of our work is going to be to the left of the origin. And that has to do with the way we're going to be setting up our parts to turn them when we get on the lathe. So I'm going to start this by just drawing a center line. And I'm just going to draw it out. And I want to make sure that I get that horizontal flag. So you see that yellow flag with the horizontal dash in it. That means that my center line is perfectly horizontal. And I'm just dragging it out. And it really doesn't matter how long. I'm just kind of dragging it out to the, this side of the screen. All right, then I'm going to hit escape to stop using the straight line tool. And then what I want to do is I want to draw the basic profile for this part. All right, so the basic profile for this, you could you could see in the sketch that I provided for you, all right, is going to come up, it's going to step in, it's going to come up, and then it's going to taper. But it doesn't come down to a point because it's a pen tip. So we'll line it up there, and then we'll just come straight down. Now, if you look carefully at the drawing that I've provided you, you'll see that the inside of the Revolve profile is also there for you as well. So let's draw that as well. I'm going to start over here, a little ways down from this. All right. You'll notice I'm not using any exact dimensions yet. All right. So it's going to come in, it's going to line up, and then it's going to taper down. And so long as I don't snap to that midpoint, I should be okay. If I snap to that midpoint, it might mess me up later. So I'm going to snap anywhere on this vertical line, just not on the midpoint. All right, and then I'm going to hit escape. And now what I want to do is I want to do some trimming. So I'm going to trim. I'll trim this segment here, and I'll trim this segment here. Notice now it gives me that shading, which indicates it's a closed shape. So now I have a shaded profile and a center line. Those are the two things I need to complete a revolve. So let's go ahead, exit sketch, and make our revolve. You'll notice that because we only had one shape and one center line, it automatically picked up the revolve for us. That's great. Makes life easier. So let's green check. Hey, look, it's a pen tip. Now, is it correct? No, it's just the basic geometry, but it's there's no dimensions to it. So nothing has any size uh, specked out. So let's go back in and let's take a look at this sketch a little more closely. Notice how all of the sketch is blue. Um, I'm going to click on the label for the sketch over here, go normal two, and let's start adding in some dimensions. Now, if you look at the dimensions that I've provided you um, in the in the sheet, the the working drawing, okay, you'll see all of those dimensions are referencing this center line. Okay, they're all radial dimensions. So let's start with the smart dimension tool, and I'm going to dimension from the line up to here, come out. And this first dimension is going to be 75 thou, so 0 0.075. That's the radius for this dimension. Now, it truncates it to two decimal places, but I could certainly change my tolerance level and set it for three decimal places. All right. So I'll green check, go back to my smart dimensions, and I'm going to work from the center line up to this point here, come out, and I'll set this one to 105 thou. And this is the radius. So I'll green check, set it for three decimal places. Now, do I want to keep setting all of these for three decimal places? No, I'd rather just like set that one place and have it so all the rest of them automatically get where I want them to be. So why don't we do that? So to do that, we're going to go up here 
and we're going to go into our system options. And you have two things you could do. You could set the, the system options for everything, or you could set them for the document. In this case, I'm going to set them for the document. And I'm going to set my dimensions to three decimal places. And I'll do the same things where it says dual precision. And then click OK. So now anytime I put a dimension, it's automatically going to go three decimal places, which is great because that's what I want. All right, so now I'm going to do that again, but we're going to work the other side of this. So I'm going to work from the line up to, let's go up to this top one here and come over. All right, now this one's going to be 179. Oh, it's almost there. 179 thou. That's great. All right. Then I'm going to go from here to this corner. You'll notice things got kind of a little mixed up for me, but that's okay. We'll work on that. So to this corner, it's 125. 100 thou. All right, and then from here to this corner, which actually should be less than that, is 109 thou. All right. Now I could have gone in there and I could have like dragged that down. Okay, but I knew as soon as I started putting dimensions in, it was going to fix it. Okay. If you want to and you want to go back in and you want to drag things down, you can do that. Now there's a couple dimensions missing. I don't have any length indicated anywhere on this. All right. So I'm going to grab this piece here. And oh, I still have my center line selected, so I'll hit escape. Notice how it lets go of the center line for me. So now I have just the segment I wanted to mention. And if you look on the drawing, you'll notice that that is 176 thou. So 176. And then from here, all right, so from this segment, I don't want to make sure when you're selecting segments, you don't select the midpoint. Again, sometimes that can mess you up. Only select the midpoint when you want the midpoint. So I'm going to highlight over the segment, make sure I don't. Okay, the if the midpoint turns yellow, that just means it's letting you know it's there. If it turns orange, it means you're going to select it. So since the segment is orange and not the midpoint, I'm going to select the segment. And I'm going to grab this segment here. Again, avoiding the midpoint. And then I'm going to come up. And I'll drop this dimension. And this is going to be 810 thousandths, or 0 0.810. And all of this is in inches, by the way. So if you look down here, you'll see in my drawing units are set for IPS, which means inch, pound, and seconds. If at any time you start drawing and you see anything other than IPS in this project, you're going to have a problem. So make sure you switch back to IPS and keep your dimensions up to date. Now, unfortunately, I have a lot of blue lines which means things are underdefined. When things are black lines, that means they're defined and SolidWorks is happy. So there's a couple things I want to do to fix that. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of my dimension tool. And the first thing I want to do is I want to set it up so that this point here, and if I hold down my shift key and select this point here, I want those to have a relationship of being vertical. So if I select those two points by holding down the shift key, right, I can either click make vertical here or I can make them vertical here. All right. So that's the first one. The next one I want to do is I want to make sure that this point here and this point here are vertical. And that's good. OK, and then the last one I want to fix, notice how my origin's over here, but my part shifted. Why did my part shift? That's obnoxious. So I'm going to grab this point here, hold down my shift key, grab the origin, and then I'm going to make those vertical. Notice how when I do that, um, all of my lines went black. Okay, that indicates that this sketch is now fully defined and we're good to go. So I'll green check, I will exit my sketch, and it will update. All right, so now I have the part done and we're ready to save it and move on to the next tutorial.